This is MathCamp321 presenting a question like number 9 from chapter 8.2 of your textbook, Geometry for Enjoyment and Challenge. Question number 9 reads, Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. And with that piece of given information, they want us to find a bunch of things. The length of AC, the length of EF, and the ratio of the perimeters of the smaller triangle to the larger one. So let's start from the top. The two triangles are similar. And there's a few things that you need to know about similar triangles. And the most important one for this problem is that if you have two triangles that are similar, then their corresponding sides are in proportion. So what I can do is I can set up uh, this complex proportion by the correspondence of the sides or by the positioning of the letters in this statement. So here, AB is in the same position as DE in the other triangle. BC, which is the second two letters, is in the same position as EF. And AC, the first and third letters, are in the same position as DF. Now that I've got this complex proportion set up, I'm going to substitute in the values from the diagram. So AB is 12.6, DE is 9, BC is 16.8, EF is unknown, so I'm just going to leave that as EF. AC is unknown, so I'm going to leave that as AC. And DF is 15. Now, of the three ratios, the one that's sticking out to me right now is the first one, because it's the one that has numbers in it. This is going to reveal to me the scale factor. Now, sometimes I refer to the scale factor as SF. So I'm going to take my calculator out, and I'm actually going to do 12.6 divided by 9. I'm going to convert it to a fraction, and I'm getting 7 fifths. So 12.6 over 9 is the same as 7 fifths. That is the scale factor. And the scale factor is really important because it shows the uh, differential in the sizes of these two similar figures. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this scale factor and I'm going to set it equal to each of the remaining ratios. So I'm going to go up here where there's a little bit more space. And I'm going to say 16.8 is to EF as 7 is to 5. And I'm going to cross multiply. And I'm going to get 7 EF is equal to 5 times 16.8. And again, I'm using my calculator. 16.8 times 5 is 84. And if I divide 84 by 7, I get 12. And that tells us that EF is equal to 12. And that was one of the things I was supposed to find. Now I'm going to go back to that same scale factor, and I'm going to set it equal to the third ratio. So let's see where there's a little more space, maybe up here in the corner. I'm going to say AC is to 15. AC is to 15 as 7 is to 5. I'm going to cross multiply, getting me 5AC. And then, of course, 15 times 7 is 105. I'll divide both sides by 5, leaving me with AC is equal to 21. So just doing a quick inventory. They asked us to find AC. I found that. They asked us to find EF. I found that. And they wanted us to find the ratio of the perimeter of the smaller triangle to the larger triangle. And one of the properties of similar figures is that the ratio of the perimeters is the same as the scale factor. Now the scale factor, the way that we have it written, is 7 to 5. We're making a comparison with large to small. But they specifically want the ratio of the perimeter of the smaller to the larger. So what we're going to have to do is reverse that and say that the ratio of the perimeters, if we're talking smaller to larger, is 5 to 7. So the answer to that third question, the ratio of the perimeters, is going to be 5 to 7. And remember, you can denote a ratio either as a fraction or you can use a colon like this. So this is the answer to the third question. 
So in summary, this problem involved similar triangles and the important concept that the corresponding sides are proportional or in proportion. We set up this proportion using the positioning of the letters, we plugged in the numbers, we determined the scale factor, and then we set up as many proportions as were needed to solve for the unknown things. I hope this video helped and now you can go to section 8.2 of your book and try their version of number 9.